Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, before I get started, I would just like to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed. The last video doing as well as they did, I did not see that coming. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it is really cool and I really appreciate all the nice comments. So uh, thanks and I will do my best to keep you entertained. So that being said, your comments is actually a nice segue in the topic I wanted to discuss today. Because a lot of people asked, uh, okay, but where do you get a good hair degrader for beginners? So in this video, I am just going to give you a bunch of names of really good, reputable hair degrading makers. Just a couple of notes before I get into that. Uh, buying your first hair degrader is compared to a first guitar or a first violin expensive. I cannot make that any prettier than it is. Um, it has to do with it being a mechanical instrument. It has about the same number of parts as five guitars and a lot of those parts are moving so you have to be very precise uh, making that. Um, just to give you an indication of what that precision means, adjusting the strings I do that with paper, so it goes by a tenth of a millimeter. So everything has to be in the right place and that means that a student instrument, a affordable instrument, has to be made with the exact same precision as a really expensive instrument or it will not work. You can do a lot of things to make it more affordable. You can save on the, uh, the materials, uh, you can save on the features, you can make the body shape more simple, but you cannot save on the time spent making it work properly. I hope that makes sense. So building a hurdy-gurdy just takes time and thus money. So if you want a hoodie goodie, you need a good realistic budget. Um, anything between 1500 and 3000 is going to be great. It can be done cheaper, but um, that is going to depend on what you need. So uh, how do hoodie goodie players afford that? Are we just that rich? Um, no. It is saving, selling stuff, uh, having nice family members to help you out. There is no shortcut, unfortunately. If there was a good and cheap hoodie we would we would be playing it. There are bad or really overpriced or just unplayable instruments on the market. Um, I am not going to be covering them in a video, but uh, I do want to put it out there just in case you keep searching and you go down the rabbit hole. Uh, don't just buy anything, uh, be critical, be mindful of it and ask for help. Avoid music stores. Um, always buy directly from the maker because uh, music stores are going to charge you a big fat margin and uh, the chance that any of the employees in the music store are going to know what to do with the hoodie goodie are slim to none. So that will just be a waste of your money. Also avoid eBay, Etsy and other auction sites if you want to buy a new instrument from a maker because uh, nobody who is worth your money uses sites like that. Now almost every luthier has a waiting list and the reason for that is that they just get ordered faster than people can make them. Um, how long the waiting list is going to be will depend on the person you're going to order from. A short waiting list will be uh, a couple of months. In very extreme cases it is going to be five to seven years. Uh, average is 18 to 24 months. Uh, when you place your order you are going to be asked to pay a deposit and after you've paid the deposit you are going to be placed on the waiting list. Uh, do keep in mind the waiting list is always going to be an indication and not a hard frame of time because uh, luthiers uh, are a small business and some of them just have one or two people working so uh, stuff happens then so be a little flexible about that. Okay, here are the makers I want to recommend to you. This is not an exhaustive or complete list. Um, 
There are many more, but I did not want to make the video five hours long. These are just a bunch of makers with a really good reputation that you can order a great instrument from. I will put some info on the screen and I will put links to websites and videos in the description so you can go and check that out. I will uh, mention prices as they are known to me right now, but uh, it will be an indication uh, because prices change over time and um, the best thing you can do is to just contact the Luthier and ask them for a quote. I am going to be looking down at my notes, so I apologize for that. Okay, first one is the Nerdy Gurdy. It is a Dutch company. The Nerdy Gurdy is a kit instrument. It is completely made by Rapid Manufacturing, so it is laser cut plywood and 3D printed part. It works absolutely fine. Uh, you can study with it and uh, it costs very, very little. You can order a finished instrument, uh, you can order a kit that you built yourself, or you can download the plans and um, cut and print all the parts. Um, as far as I know, it is the cheapest way to start playing. A kit retails for about 300-ish euros. They do work with uh, retailers because it is a very small business that is basically run off a kitchen table. Uh, and they are completely swamped with interest. So you may have to look around a bit to find the right retailer for you if you are interested. The next one is Cordy Starov. He is a maker from the Ukraine. Um, he has a couple of models. Uh, the cheapest one starts at about 750 euros and that one has three strings. It are very cute little instruments. He has uh, very nice paint colors and he uh, also does a sunburst paint job. I think the Spyro Crank works really well. Uh, you can get in touch with him on Facebook. He uh, speaks good English. Yes. MM Instruments in Poland. They uh, have two models. Um, one of them is the Sophona. That one starts at 1850 euros. It is a big alto instrument, highly customizable. Um, they also have a budget model uh, and that one retails for 1150 euros. The cool thing about the Outlaw is that uh, they don't work with a waiting list for that one, but uh, they make it in batches and put them up for sale. So if you are interested in that, you have to follow them on their social media and make sure that you're going to be updated when they are about to put a new batch up. For sale. I think their end goal was to make the upload available out of stock, so that would be really really cool and revolutionary. Then you can just go to the web store and click and buy an instrument and have it delivered to you immediately. So yes, MM instrument. Robert Mandel, uh, he is from Hungary. I think he's based in Austria now. He makes several um, different hedigodis. Uh, the most affordable one is a Symphonia. That is a uh, boxed shaped medieval hitty-gurdy. It is a very what you see is what you get instrument. Three strings, bam, works fine. The symphony, I think the current price is about 800 euros. The Gachi Phoenix, uh, that one is from Germany. It is from the old workshop of Helmut Gachi. Uh, that workshop is now run by Alexandra Betz. Uh, the Phoenix is their model and the standard basic version of the Phoenix is a very well-known student instrument. I actually started on one of those. It is very good. Uh, the basic version costs 1900 euros. Marco Gamara, he is a maker from Spain. Uh, a very nice, classy, modern instrument. Uh, the design, it kind of hails back to the uh, traditional Spanish sanfona, but uh, in a very tasteful modern way. I think they are very cool. They sound excellent. Uh, he has three models. Uh, the cheapest one starts at about 2200 euros. Fjelker Buff, they are a maker from France and they have a really nice mix between the traditional French hoodie uh and a more modern minimalistic take. 
uh, also in sound. Uh, they are very nice, powerful, punchy instruments uh, that sound very classy. Their viel etude, uh, their student instruments start uh, at about 1750 euros. That is the last thing that I heard. Chris and Sabina Allen, they are the makers of my instruments. They are from the UK. Um, they make traditional French instruments, super refined, classy, well behaved, play very light, uh, wonderful craftsmanship. Highly recommend them. Um, their uh, French instruments start at about 2200 euros for the most basic ones. Um, they also have a medieval symphony, which is lovely, lovely, charming instrument. I think that one starts at about 1400 euros. Also highly recommend that one. The next one is interesting from people in the United States. Els, he is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Uh, he makes very big, lovely, modern girdies. Uh, the model is called the Vision, I believe. Very cool details. He makes a transparent wheel and just the rim is made of wood. So it looks like you just have the rim of wood. I love it. It is so cool. Big, big sound. It is Brazil, so you're gonna have those gorgeous tone woods. Love it. Uh, they start at about 2500 euros. Joel Traunecker, he is from France. Um, to the best of my knowledge, he does not ship. So if you want one of his hurdy-gurdies, you do have to travel to his workshop to pick it up. Um, I think he was a pupil of Denis Seora. Uh, that is a, quite a famous French maker who uh, was one of the first ones to start the trend towards uh, modernizing the hurdy-gurdy back in at around 1990. He has a very cool aesthetic. He has one hurdy-gurdy that kind of looks like a 1970s synthesizer but made of wood. It is very cool. He has several models. His uh, student model is called the Simplex. That one starts at about 1600 euros. He also has a very minimalistic one that is very tiny. That one starts at 900 euros, I think, but you're just gonna have three strings so it is super super dressed down. Philippe Mounier is also a French maker. He makes the instruments that are played by Gregory Jolivet. It are very cool modern rock machines, lovely craftsmanship, very big sound. Uh, also does very cool innovative stuff with moving wheels. He makes a student model called the Olivette. Uh, that one retails at about 1900 euros but I do have that from an older catalog. There is no recent price list on his website. So if you are interested in that one, best to go and send him a message. Claire de Gay, she is an award-winning uh, French luthier who works in the UK. Beautiful, big, mighty, dark sounding instruments. The sound kind of reminds me of an organ. It is very cool makes a beautiful student instrument that is called the Premier Pa and that one retails at about 2000 euros. Gerolf Krems, he is a maker from Germany. He has two models that have a very cool sound, very refined but a little bit of an edge. It is super nice. Uh, the cheapest one starts at about 2500 euros. Benjamin Pousadou, I think I think he was a student of Philippe Mounier, but I am not sure. My old teachers were really, really enthusiastic about it. Um, he has a very cool basic model. It is called the Galipet. Uh, no frills, no decoration, three strings, but uh, it sounds awesome. And uh, it starts at 1400 euros. And what is really cool about the Galipet is that it is very customizable. So you can add a drone and uh, you have a really nice and very functional instrument for silly cheap. And the last one I want to mention is Bela Serenyi. He is a very famous maker from Hungary. He makes uh, the traditional Hungarian Tekoro style hedegurdies. They are a bit different than the French style. 
He is also a uh, folk music researcher, so interesting character, lovely instruments, and they start at around 1200 euros. So that was it. I hope you find this interesting and helpful. As I said, I am going to leave all the links in the description. Um, so I hope uh, this is a good starting point for people interested in finding uh, a good instrument to learn playing the Lady Gertie. Um, yeah, that is all what I wanted to say for today. Uh, thank you for watching if you are still here and have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye.